TikTok is the best way to make money online right now. In this video, I'm going to show you a niche that is actually untapped and goes viral. People are using this niche to scale accounts, join the Creator Rewards program, and turn each video into a money printing machine. In this video, we're going to do everything from creating your account, coming up with content ideas, generating stunning visuals, and editing it all together with some viral touches. The niche that I'm talking about is this cinematography niche. Accounts like these are going viral, and are generating thousands of views on each video. What's crazy is that this is by far the easiest sort of content to create for TikTok, easier than anything I've shown on my channel before. So there's no excuse for you guys to not try this. If you really wanna be successful online, then you gotta put in the work. One last thing before we get started, guys. If you wanna get your content personally reviewed by me, then join my school community. You also get access to our full TikTok course, which is full of secret tips that I don't share on YouTube. All right. Let's start by looking at the competition. Now we obviously have the original account. They produce some stunning videos. However, there's some tricks at the end of the video to make our videos better than theirs. The world doesn't end at 80, and life doesn't have to be figured out in your 20s. You're still so young at 25. Okay, step one, let's set up our account so that we avoid a shadow ban and can immediately attract viewers. I'll tell you guys a few tricks in this step which will help you get to 10,000 followers faster, so pay attention. So let's step up our account. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we are inside the regions for the Creator Rewards program. If you're not in these regions, then don't worry. If you head to this video's description, you'll find a link to accounts within the regions. It's also in the Google Doc. On to the next step. We now need a name for our account. If you have one in mind, then use that. However, I know a cool trick to get one without having to brainstorm. Head to the Google Doc and click the link for Namelix. Once you're on this site, you wanna go ahead and enter some keywords. Now in our videos, we'll have these audios that play about love among other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and type love quotes as our keywords. Now, if I click ahead, these a few generation options. You can tweak these if you like. However, I think they don't really do much. So I'll click ahead. It'll take some time to generate, but at the end, you'll be left with loads of names to choose from. Pick one you like and set it as your name on TikTok. All right, let's now generate a viral profile picture with AI. Head back to the Google Doc and click the link for Leonardo AI. Now, if you've watched this channel for a while, you know that I love this app for generating images. It makes crazy images like this and this. Once you're on Leonardo, head to this image creation button in the middle of the screen. Once you're on the next page, we need to change some settings, so listen up. On here, we firstly wanna to head to the image generation model and go ahead and change it to this one called Leonardo Phoenix. Once that's done, you wanna now make sure that the generation quality is set to the highest setting possible. So I'll set it to ultra. With that done, we can now go ahead, change the image dimensions to one by one, which is perfect for a profile picture. We can now go ahead and enter a prompt into the generation box. I'll go with two lovers watching a romantic sunset. You can really pick anything that comes to mind, so go ahead and enter what you want into the generation box. The AI will begin to generate you your profile picture. It takes a minute, so I'll skip to when it's done. As you can now see, we have a good profile picture that we can use for our video. Download it and set it as your profile picture. Keep watching as I'll jump into creating, designing, and editing our video. Just before that, you lastly want to make sure that you warm your TikTok account. To do this, head to your For You page and scroll around and interact with videos so TikTok thinks you're a real person. With that done, we can now begin to make our content. We firstly need to find our quotes that will play in the background of our video. The original account that I showed has some amazing ones, so I'll use that as a place to look for them. I'll leave their account in the Google Doc. Once you're on here, I'm gonna go ahead and select this random video. Now all we need to do is to download this video so that we can extract the audio later. So save it to your device. With our audio ready, we wanna go ahead and begin generating the background visuals. Now there are many places that you can do this, and I'm going to give you a few examples. The first place that I'll show is YouTube. Now don't worry, as we'll be cutting and stitching many clips, our content won't get disqualified from the program. So head to YouTube. Once on YouTube, the first search term that I'll use will be drone footage. This will be where people have captured amazing landscapes with drones and have uploaded them to YouTube. As you can see, this content is absolutely stunning and will definitely be good to upload to TikTok. Scroll around and save some content that you like. Another search term that you can use is one called nature shop. This is pretty similar to the previous one, but this will often leave you with more still images. 
There's also some incredible shorts like this one, and this might even be AI to be honest. I genuinely can't tell. All right, get all the content you need from YouTube. I'll now show you another way to get these clips that's 100% copyright free. We need a mix of both platforms' content to ensure that we don't receive a strike on TikTok. The next platform is this one called Pexels. I'll leave a link in the Google Doc. Once you're on the site, you wanna start by changing the search criteria from photos to videos, as obviously still images won't make for an interesting video. Once this setting is changed, we wanna go ahead and enter nature into the search bar as this is the sort of content we wanna search for. As you can see, after I hit search, Pexels has left me with plenty of different scenes to choose from. These look incredible, and I recommend that you save as many as possible, as you'll want to change up the visuals for each image. If you want to refine your search even further, Head under the search bar and hit filters. Now you can see some options have come up, so you wanna click this one and then set the orientation to vertical. This will allow us to filter down for videos that match the video. Now you wanna try and keep the same theme for each video, so if you've mostly saved mountains, try and use just mountains when we edit our video together. All right guys, we've got our visuals. Stay with me now, as I'll teach you how to get sound effects, edit the video, and show you a few more secrets at the end. Okay guys, we're now going to grab some sound effects. Head to this site called Pixabay using the link in the Google Doc. This is a great website with so many options that I use in all of my videos. Once you're on here, start by hitting this option labeled Sound Effects. This will set our search criteria to just that. Now come up to the search bar and start by searching for birds chirping. This is obviously a very calming sound that we can overlay over our content. Once the search results have come up, look around of one to use. There's this one here that's over 10 minutes long, and here's what it sounds like. It's obviously very calming and would be really good for our video, so let's go ahead and download it. All right, that's everything. Stick with me now as I'll show you how to edit it all together and then how to post and monetize your content effectively. Real quick, if you guys are struggling to make money online, then join my school community. It's full of valuable insights, and you'll also get one-on-one -on -one mentoring from me, who's amassed millions of TikTok views. Check it out in the description. It's now time to edit our video. For this, I'll use CapCut, and you can find a link in the Google Doc. Once you're on CapCut, you wanna start by importing everything that we've gathered during this video. Now, the first thing that I'll do is extract the audio from the TikTok to do this. Drag in the TikTok to the timeline like so. Now, once it's in place, you wanna go ahead and right click on the video in your timeline. A list of options will come up, and the specific one that we're looking for is this one called Extract Audio. If you click it, you can see that it's left us with a blue audio track here. Now go ahead and delete the video, as we don't need it anymore. All right, we now need to add captions to our video as they help us with placing our visuals. Head to text in the top right. Now select auto captions, and then hit generate. These are a pro feature. However, I'll show you an alternate way to generate them in a minute. Once your captions are in place, you wanna add in your scenes. The way that you do this is by adding one video for every set of captions in your timeline or every few words in the voiceover if you don't have captions. As you can see, I'm adding in my video, cropping it when the captions end, and then adding in the next video. This sudden change in scene allows for our video to be constantly changing, resulting in a viral video. I'll skip to when this is done. We now need to add in the sounds of the birds chirping. Drag the audio into your timeline and place it below your voiceover. Once it's in place, you want to head to the end of your video and crop the duration of the birds chirping so it matches the length of your video. Once this is done, we now need to edit our text. Select all of the text, add to the top right. Once you're here, hit this template option and search until you find one that you like. Pick one that's quite sleek and isn't too flashy as we need this sort of simplistic style for our video. As you can see, I found this one which I really like to look up. That's our text done. Let's move over to the next step. Once your text is done, we can now add some personal touches to our video. The first one that I'll do is add some effects. Head to effects in the top right and search for this one called black noise. It adds these old school film effects and is really fitting for our video. You want to extend it out across your entire timeline. Once that's done, I'm also going to lower the speed with this slider here. That's our first effect done. The next one that I'll add is this one called Sun. Once you've found it, drag it onto your timeline. Repeat the same steps of extending its duration and adjusting the intensity of the effect. All right, that effect's now done. The next thing I'll add is a filter. Head to filters in the top left and you wanna search for one you like. Try out and preview different filters by clicking on them. And once you found one, you wanna drag it into the timeline like so. Just like the effects, drag it out to the full length of the video. 
You can also lower the intensity of the filter a bit, so it's not too strong. The next thing we need to do is add an adjustment to our video. Head to Adjustment in the top left and add a custom adjustment to your timeline. As with everything else, drag it out to match the full duration of your video. Once it's in place, head to the top right and we need to change a few settings. The first setting you need to change is the exposure. As our video's a bit too bright, this will help. Reduce it to minus five. Another thing that will help is reducing the shadow. I've gone ahead and reduced it to a value of about minus 15. If I scroll down, the next thing I'll do is increase the sharpness to about five. Finally, I've increased the vignette to value about 20. This will darken the corners of our video, which means giving it this aesthetic look. Our video is done now, so you wanna go ahead and export it. Keep watching as I'll show you how to upload it and then show you some insane monetization strategies I guarantee you won't have seen before. I'll show you the finished result, but keep in mind I've had to remove the music for copyright purposes. Here's the finished result. The world doesn't end at 80, and life doesn't have to be figured out in your 20s. You're still so young at 25, and you're likely going to change your path a million times. You'll switch jobs and cities, friends and dreams. You might switch careers at 28, and meet the love of your life at 35 instead of 25. It might not be who you thought you'd end up with. All right, guys, head to TikTok and begin the process of posting your video. The first thing you wanna do is add a sound. You need to find the exact song that we're using in our video or your content will get muted. Once it's in place, you wanna reduce its volume so it doesn't drown out our voiceover. That's how to add music. You now want to head to the next page. Here you wanna add a caption along the lines of true love. You also want to add five relevant hashtags to the video so you can categorize it more. I talk more about posting in my school community if you're interested. All right, go ahead and post your video. Don't click off now. I'll now show you how you can monetize this content. So we all know you have the creativity program, but the requirements are quite strict. What you could do is set up things like an ebook using beacons that can make you money before the creativity program. You can use ChatGPT to write this for you and then sell it through beacons, link in the Google Doc. As our content is about love, you could say, how to attract your crush. If you guys wanna learn some secret ways to make money, and in some cases make more than the creativity program, then join my school community. You can also have me personally review your content and I'll point you in the right direction to going viral. That's all for today's video, bye.